Good morning. Hi to everyone. My name is Marcelo. I'm from Rio de Janeiro University State. And my video is about a paper I made comparing organic and silicon solar cells. Most of the parameters are dependent of the type of material with which it is manufactured. So I'm going to describe the characteristics of an organic PV cell and present a roadmap to determine the curves current versus voltage of it under artificial lightning. Also, I'm going to determine the temperature versus open voltage. The analysis of each curve enable us to draw up the main conclusions and assumptions about each cell behavior according to each scenario involved in the experiments. So, beginning from the start, here is a list of the materials used on this experiment. First, the conventional silicon cell, whose area is 57 square centimeters. It is understood that the area or cross-hatched area lines is also called front contact of the cell. Second, the organic cell, made of PCBM, with a hatch area equal to 72 square centimeters. 8 by 9 cm. A wood box with dimensions 30, 40, 55 cm and two nozzles for optical connection plus a small passage for the light sources. A circuit board presenting a series of resistors used ranging from 1 to 100 ohms to 10 mega ohms connected on. The purpose of this assembly is to perform easier tests and measurements. Also, use a digital thermometer inserted inside the box, coupled to the device and multimeter attached to the circuit or cell. And finally, our lights. First, the bivolt LED with 12 watts power, and second, the 220 voltage incandescent lamp, 100 watt power. As I started to say, I'm going to find out two curves of each solar cell. First one is temperature and open circuit voltage. Second one is current and voltage. First one, starting with the first point for this survey, I introduced in a wooden box two incandescent lamps 100 watt power each, one solar cell, uh, organic and silicon individually, connected in open circuit without existing load, and the digital thermometer with a probe next to the cell. For better explanation, the arrangement created is shown below with the respective superior and frontal autographic views. Linking the lamps, I made voltage measurements of VOC and temperature T at time intervals. The experiment was first initiated with the organic cell under initial temperature of 25.9 Celsius degrees and was exposed to a variation to the stabilized temperature of 50 Celsius degrees. After a short break, before starting the next measurement, this time from the silicon cell, the initial temperature was 28.5 Celsius degrees. This temperature was higher than initially measured in the organic, because even being a brief interval, the box maintained a fraction of the previous heat still stored. However, our results were not affected because the goal was to analyze the open voltage VOC according to the positive variations of temperature. The second point, after identifying the influence of temperature in both cells, was to find its survey characteristics. For this step, it was necessary to maintain a constant temperature inside the wooden box, because then we would not have another variable that could influence lifting the voltage and current of the cells, thus seeking greater accuracy. So we used two light lamps with 12 watts each. The circuit was fitted with variable load following the same previous arrangement, maintaining the same lightning with no influence of external light. 
Starting measurements with varying load to the point of obtaining the terminal voltage with ferries from zero to VOC and ends the charging current from ESC to zero obtaining any particular points. By the curves, I was able to identify the particular points and calculate the other parameters of each cell, such as resistance, yield, and fuel factor. By this time, I found the irradiance of the used lights as shown here, and used MATLAB to plot, by using literature theory equations, the new curves of each cell. Some adjustments were necessary to the proposal and limit of my experiment. About the results. The organic PV cells still consider a relatively new technology with varying fields of study for our future development. After the discovery of organic PV, the third generation of solar cells, it began a marathon of studies on the subjects in order to increase efficiency and decrease cost. Nanotechnology and molecular engineering have been screening thus facilitating their development. In the face of all foregoing, it's possible to synthesize as, as obtained conclusions the following points. First one, through the established circuit mod model, it was possible to determine the main characteristics of a photovoltaic cell without the need of a manufacturer manual. Second, as can be seen, silicon cells have a much higher yield than organic cells, approximately 50-fold under our experiment. The issue of quality of the PV from the calculated form factor allows us to affirm that the silicon cell has a higher quality compared to organic. Third, three, another obvious parameter are the resistances in series and parallels to each circuit. The silicon cells exhibit much smaller values of both series and parallels resistance when compared to the organic. In percentage terms, the resistance value of silicon cell in the series is about 1.8% when compared to the organic and the resistance value is in parallel 26%. 4. The losses due the, to the leakage current are higher in organic cells. They present current values in much smaller loads to those made by the silicon cells. It is worth remembering that the equivalent circuits of the two cells are different. 5. Based on the positive variation of the temperature in each test cell, it was observed that temperature influences both the silicon cell and the organic cell, but inversely. Silicon is the higher the lower temperature is the voltage VOC. In the organic, higher the temperature, higher the voltage is VOC. 6. We have also seen the graphs that current versus voltage behavior of silicon and organic cells are different. The experimental graphs of silicon cells showed a more constant manner with few variations before the need created by the diode ideality factor, making it straight from this on. The experimental plots of organic cells showed a linear fashion throughout the curve, varying thereby evenly. There was no need characteristics of the diode ideality factor in the organic cell. Establishing its value as a unit to be replaced in the following theoretical equations came close to an ideal value of it. However, according to the graphs obtained theoretically and comparing them with experimental data, the value should be above a unit, since the slope of the curve was too divergent graphically than experimentally obtained. 7. At the end of this project and alert from limits and methods used, the primary conclusion is that the organic cell does not have increased yield or quality as compared to a silicon conventional one. I would like to thank you for the attention and wish a successful EGO PV 2016. Thank you.